Our objective for this lesson is to be able to multiply and divide numbers in standard form, such as in the examples given on this page. Let's start with multiplying in standard form. We're going to calculate 2 times 10 to the power of 3 times by 7 times by 10 to the power of 5. We're going to give our final answer in standard form. So, first thing to do, rearrange. So we've got the numbers together, 2 times 7, and we've got the powers of 10 together. We'll then simplify by doing the 2 times the 7 to get 14 and 10 cubed times 10 to the power of 5. Remember when we're multiplying powers of 10, we add those powers together to give us 10 to the power of 8. Now we're almost there, but that's not quite in standard form because 14 is bigger than 10. So we put it back into standard form. We get 1.4 times 10 to the power of 9, which is our answer. Let's try a trickier example now. So 7.4 times 10 to the power of 8 times by 5.3 times 10 cubed. Again, we're going to give our answer in standard form. So first thing to do is rearrange it so that we've got the 7.4 and 5.3 multiplying each other and the powers of 10 multiplying each other. Simplify that. So 7.4 times 5.3 gives us 39.22. The powers of 10, remember we add those powers together, so we've got 10 to the power of 11. Now again, we're almost in standard form, but 39.22 is bigger than 10, so it's not quite right. So we convert it into standard form, and there's our answer. 3.922 times 10 to the power of 12. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear shortly. Now let's have a look at dividing in standard form. It's pretty much the same method. We're going to do 6 times 10 to the power of 7 divided by 2 times 10 to the 5. So again, we're going to start by rearranging. We'll bring the 6 and the 2 together and we'll deal with the powers separately. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 to the 7 divided by 10 to the 5. When we're dividing, we take away the second power. So that gives us 10 squared. Now that's already in standard form because 3 is between 1 and 10, so that's our answer. Again, let's try a trickier version. So 2.5 times 10 to the 11 divided by 5 times 10 cubed. Again, we're going to give our answer in standard form. So we start by rearranging. We do the 2.5 divided by the 5 and 10 to the 11 divided by 10 cubed, which gives us 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of 8. Now 0 0.5 is less than 1, so this isn't in standard form yet. So we convert that, 5 times 10 to the 7, and that's our answer. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear at the end.